Good morning, everyone. Darius Dell here to present our Macro Minute for Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Starting with markets, we have stocks down, commodities mixed with energy leading, crypto down, dollar down, global bond yields mixed this morning. Uh, big movers, they have the Shanghai Composite and Ethereum both down a percent. Net gas up 2%, 10-year German boon yield up four basis points. Doesn't sound like a lot, but on a base of nine, negative nine basis points, that's about a 34% move. So a uh, big move there in the, in the, in the European bond markets. Uh, on the economic front, the third and final batch of December manufacturing PMI data signaled more of the same with respect to the post-Delta bounce and global growth petering out in November. Uh, so on the accelerating front, you had the ISM employment uh, sub-index tick up to 54.2. That's the highest we've seen since April. Uh, that was it in terms of acceleration. Uh, nothing unchanged. Decelerating at the ISM headline, uh, headlining the decel at 58.7. That's the lowest print we've seen since November 2020. Uh, ISM new orders slowed. ISM prices slowed. Uh, taking it to the chart here, we also saw a slowdown in the percentage of respondents in the ISM survey reporting slower supplier delivery times. Um, you're seeing a pretty material uh, crash, actually. Um, this print is the lowest figure we've seen, uh, as they believe, since going back to November of, of 2020. So um, you, as we, we talked about, you know, starting in, uh, you know, kind of in October, November, we're moving past peak from a uh, from a supply chain disruption perspective, which ultimately means, obviously, inflation is likely to be moving past peak in this time frame as well. Uh, we also saw Canada slow down uh, in terms of the ISA, in terms of the manufacturing PMI as well. Uh, elsewhere. Uh, we saw U.S. auto sales continue to be restrained by the inability of suppliers to meet demand. So auto sales take down 400,000 units to a SAR of 12.4 million in December. That's the lowest print we've seen since September 21. Uh, the resolution of the global chip shortage that is restraining all that, uh, all, the, the, all the auto consumption out there is a positive factor for growth this year in so much that it's a negative factor for inflation. And then lastly, uh, the first batch of December services PMI data were no different than their manufacturing counterparts in terms of signaling a renewed slowdown heading into 2022. Uh, so none accelerated, none unchanged. We had an, an deceleration camp. We had the Eurozone headlining that at 53.1. That's the lowest print we've seen since April of this of 2021. Uh, Germany slowed, France slowed, Spain slowed, Italy slowed, Ireland slowed, India slowed. So pretty uh, clear, consistent theme of slowdown um, in, in the services PMI data, the first batch of services PMI data. Uh, for the month of December. Uh, with respect to today's probable range setups, overbought signal in WTI, dollar versus Japanese yen, 10 year boon yield, 10 year Swiss yield, 30 year treasury yield, 10 year tips break even, and then oversold signal again in the currency volatility. Uh, SP 500, that's bullish FAMS minus 2.3% of downside versus 2.1% of upside. WTI, that's bearish FAMS minus 12% of downside, still probing the upper boundary of its probable range, correcting sideways as we see. Uh, Bloomberg dollar index, uh, uh, bullish FAMS minus 0.2% downside versus 1.5% upside. 10 year treasury yield, uh, bullish FAMS minus 20 basis points of downside versus two basis points of upside. Bitcoin minus uh, bearish FAMS, bearish from our perspective of our volatility adjusted momentum signal. That's what BAMS means for those of you who are new. Uh, Bitcoin uh, minus 8% of downside in its probable range versus 9% of upside. Ethereum bearish VAMs minus 10% of downside versus 7% of upside. And then lastly, gold bullish VAMs minus 1.6% of downside versus 2.2% of upside. So with that, Darius Dell presenting our macro minute for Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Uh, thanks for watching and best of luck out there.